A brand new jet, the Herjet, has just had another brilliant first flight. This isn't just any old plane, mind you, this is the second prototype. Which means they built one, it flew, and they thought, right, let's make another one, but even better. And that's exactly what they've done. This isn't just about bolting some wings to a tube with a massive engine. This is a statement. A loud, roaring, supersonic statement that Turkey has properly arrived on the world stage of making seriously cool and seriously capable military hardware. It's a moment of immense national pride. A real feather in the cap for Turkish aerospace industries. You see, building a modern jet trainer and light attack aircraft is not like putting together a flat pack wardrobe. It's fiendishly complicated. You need clever people, lots of them. You need advanced materials, computers that can think faster than a chess grandmaster on espresso, and a level of precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker nod in appreciation. For the second Herjet prototype to soar into the sky so flawlessly is a massive achievement. It shows that the first one wasn't a fluke. It proves they have the process, the skill, and the sheer grit to do it again. This flight is a signal to everyone, friend and foe alike, that Turkey's aerospace industry is not just taking off, it's already climbing to cruising altitude with the afterburners on full. This success story is about more than just aeronautical engineering. It's a symbol of a nation's ambition. For years, Turkey has been pushing to stand on its own two feet in the world of defense. They got tired of having to ask other countries for permission to buy the kit they needed to defend themselves, so they decided to build their own. The Herjit is one of the most visible results of that decision. It's a flying testament to a national strategy that says, we will build it ourselves, and we will build it better. This second successful flight is another huge step down that road, proving that their plan is working splendidly. It's the kind of progress that makes other nations sit up and pay very close attention. The feeling in Turkey right now must be electric. Imagine the engineers and the test pilots, the people who poured their hearts and souls into this machine, watching it cut through the air. It's the culmination of years of hard work, long nights, and solving problems that would make most people's heads explode. This isn't just a win for a company, it's a win for the entire country. It boosts morale, inspires the next generation of engineers, and shows the world what Turkish determination looks like. The Herjet isn't just a piece of metal, it's a soaring symbol of a nation reaching for the sky and grabbing it with both hands. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now there's a deeper, more poignant side to this story. This incredible flight wasn't just a technical demonstration, it was dedicated to the martyrs, to the people who lost their lives in recent attacks on Turkish defense companies. It seems some people out there don't like the idea of Turkey becoming so self-sufficient. They've tried to stop this progress to sow fear and chaos. They thought that by attacking the very heart of Turkey's defense industry, they could halt its momentum. What a catastrophic miscalculation that turned out to be. It was a cowardly act, aimed at slowing down the very people building the nation's future security. But here's the thing about trying to bully people who are building fighter jets. It doesn't work. Instead of scaring them into submission, these attacks have done the exact opposite. They've lit a fire under them. The determination of the engineers, the technicians, and everyone at Turkish Aerospace Industries has been supercharged. It's as if they've collectively said, you think you can stop us? Watch this. The successful flight of the second Herge is a powerful, defiant answer. It's a tribute in steel and fire, a message that for every attempt to hold them back, they will leap forward with even greater speed and resolve. This jet flies not just on kerosene, but on the unbreakable spirit of its creators. This resolve is now baked into the very DNA of the Herjit project, it's a story of resilience. When you face adversity you have two choices, you can crumble, or you can build something magnificent out of the rubble. Turkey has chosen the latter. The attacks were meant to be a roadblock, a major setback, instead they became a catalyst. The entire project has been imbued with a sense of mission that goes beyond engineering and profit margins. It's about national survival and honor. The engineers aren't just doing a job. They are on a crusade to prove that their nation cannot and will not be intimidated. This jet is their magnificent, supersonic rebuttal. Every successful test, every milestone reached is a victory against those who wish to see Turkey fail. The sound of the Herjit's engine roaring to life is a sound of defiance. It's a testament to the fact that you can't bomb an idea, you can't sabotage determination. The spirit behind this project is now stronger than any alloy used in its construction. 
This flight, dedicated to the fallen, ensures that their sacrifice was not in vain. It has been transformed into a source of immense strength, powering the nation's technological ambitions and sending a clear message. We will not be stopped. We will only get stronger. Let's get down to the oily bits. What makes this Herjet so special? Well, for a start, it's a supersonic machine. That means it can go faster than the speed of sound, which is always cool. But it's not just a speed demon. It's designed to be a jack of all trades. It can be used as an advanced jet trainer to teach new pilots how to handle the incredible forces and complexities of modern air combat. Then, with a few tweaks, it can be loaded up with weapons and sent into a fight, providing close air support for troops on the ground or engaging in air-to-air -air combat. This versatility makes it an incredibly valuable asset for any air force. The Herjit is packed with the latest technology. We're talking state-of-the-art avionics a high-tech cockpit that gives the pilot amazing situational awareness and an aerodynamic design that makes it incredibly nimble in the air. This second prototype is expected to have even better performance than the first one, which has already flown over 140 successful test flights. This is all part of Turkey's grand plan to become a master of its own destiny. For too long, they've had to deal with sanctions and restrictions from Western countries, making it difficult to buy or maintain military equipment. The Herje is their way of saying, fine, we'll build our own and we won't need your parts. A huge part of this push for independence is the focus on using locally sourced materials and components. Turkish Aerospace Industries is working tirelessly to increase the amount of made-in-Turkey parts in their aircraft. This is a monumental challenge. You can't just pop down to the local hardware store for a fighter jet engine. You have to develop entire industries from scratch, mastering complex processes like control system integration and advanced metallurgy, but they are doing it. They are overcoming these technical hurdles one by one, building a robust domestic supply chain that will insulate them from the whims of international politics. This makes their defense industry stronger and more resilient. This isn't just about the Herjit, either. It's part of a much bigger picture. Turkish Aerospace Industries is also developing other seriously advanced aircraft, like stealth fighters and reconnaissance drones. Their goal is to become the primary supplier for the entire Turkish Air Force. Imagine that, a country going from a buyer of foreign jets to a producer of its own top-tier Air Force in just a few decades. It's an astonishing transformation. The Herjit is a crucial stepping stone in this journey, proving they have the skills and the industrial base to build complex world-class military technology right at home. It's a fortress of self-reliance, built one rivet at a time. So, Turkey has built a fantastic jet. They've proven they can do it, and do it well. But the ambition doesn't stop at their own borders. The Herjit is being groomed for the global stage. Having a successful, domestically produced aircraft like this does wonders for a country's international standing. It's a calling card that says, we are a serious technological power. This strengthens alliances, as friendly nations see Turkey as a capable and reliable partner. It's one thing to be an ally, it's another thing entirely to be an ally who can sell you a supersonic fighter jet. The plan is to start mass production soon, first to strengthen the Turkish Air Force and replace its aging trainer jets. But the export market is the next big prize. There are many countries around the world that need affordable, reliable, and modern light combat and training aircraft. They don't want the political strings that often come attached to buying equipment from the major global superpowers. The Herjet could be the perfect solution. It offers cutting-edge performance without the geopolitical baggage. Turkish Aerospace Industries is positioning the Herjet to be a highly competitive product in a crowded market. It's a bold move but one they are now in a position to make. Success in the export market would be a massive economic boost for Turkey. It would create jobs, bring in foreign currency, and further fuel the growth of their high-tech industries. It's a virtuous cycle. Selling jets abroad provides the money to develop even more advanced technology at home. This is how a nation cements its place as a key player in the global defense industry. The Herjit isn't just a military project, it's an economic and diplomatic tool. It's Turkey's ticket to the top table, a way to expand its influence and build stronger partnerships around the world, all on its own terms. In the end, the story of the Herjit is a story of incredible ambition and spectacular success.
From a national dream to a roaring reality, this jet represents the very best of Turkish engineering and determination. It's a response to adversity, a platform for self-reliance, and a contender for the world market. As this second prototype continues its tests, it carries with it the hopes of a nation. It proves that with enough vision, hard work, and a refusal to ever give up, you really can soar to new heights. The world is watching and Turkey with the Herjit is putting... Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind-the-scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.